Oklo in central Gabon, Africa is a galactic marvel. The only natural nuclear reactor known to exist is stirred to life some 1.7 billion years ago, and when French miners unearthed the dormant site in 1972, it caused a scientific uproar. Some argued that Oklo couldn't have happened. They claimed Russia stole the uranium to make nuclear weapons, but what really happened was that the Oklo natural nuclear reactor was powered by nothing but uranium, water, and algae. You see, back in the day, about 3% of all uranium was uranium-235, which is a more radioactive isotope of uranium compared to just 0.7% today. Central Africa has many natural elements in its crust, and Oklo had a large amount of uranium already. What happened was, the algae in the water let out a surplus of oxygen into the water during photosynthesis, making the water hundreds of times more acidic than normal water. Because of the water's acidity, Tons of rock in Oklo were dissolved, and because uranium is much denser than the rocks around it, the uranium-rich water was percolated by the cracks in the earth and consolidated all into one spot underground. Thanks to Oklo's large reservoir of natural uranium, it didn't take very long before the uranium concentration reached critical mass. Though necessary, a critical mass wasn't sufficient. In general, for a chain reaction to occur, uranium nuclei must not only be struck by neutrons, they must absorb them. When pure uranium fissions, its atoms shoot out fast neutrons which bounce off neighbors like stones across water. Those are basically duds. Wasted neutrons. Oklo uranium went nuclear only because the river slowed the neutrons down just enough for neighboring nuclei to snag them. Without the water, the reaction would have never taken place. But there's more. Fission also produces heat, and the reason why there's not a giant crater where Africa is today is that when the water got too hot, it boiled away. Without the water, the neutrons stopped being absorbed by the nuclei and the reaction ground to a halt. Only when the uranium cooled did water trickle back through the cracks and reignite the reactor. It is nature's only self-regulating nuclear reactor and it consumed more than 13,000 pounds of uranium over the course of 150,000 years on on-off cycles of 150 minutes. Every 150 minutes the reaction would start and then stop, and I think that's pretty cool. Eventually, scientists realized that the ratio of neodymium isotopes in the crust of Oklo was slightly off by 0.003%. A huge difference. Further analysis showed that the rate of neodymium in Oklo matched perfectly with the rate of neodymium byproduct in man-made nuclear reactors, solving the mystery of Oklo. Anyways, thanks for watching or something. Bye everybody!